Hello, Bernhard here. Uh, in this video, we are going to install the operating system Azure Stick HCI on the hardware. Um, as I'm using a Dell system, right, um, I am entering the boot manager for booting up from the USB drive. That may take a while. Uh, please note here that um, this is the HPA, the controller, the SAS controller where the disks are attached. And there is also a RAID controller in there in the system. And we can't use RAID controllers for HCI. So therefore it's just in there. Um, I should have disabled it, um, but you know, um, it's just for me worth in mentioning this um, during the video so that um, I have the talking point about the RAID controller, right? Okay, so uh, let's go to the operating system setup. And as you could see here, it looks like a Windows Server setup um, in the beginning. There are some subtle differences. Uh, for example, um, you do not need to enter a product key or something like this. Um, you don't have a big selection of operating systems to choose from or different editions because you're installing HCI, right? Um, and um, yeah, so that's fairly straightforward. Um, even the EULA is a little bit, you know, stripped down or relatively thin. Now let's have a look at the disks. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a shift uh, shift uh, F10, which brings the uh, brings up the command line, and I'll do a disk part on this. Let my disks be listed, and the uh, the operating system disk is the uh, you remember the first SSD, which shows up here as disk number five. So I'm selecting this one cleaning it out from any previous installed operating system. Just make sure that everything is gone there. And then um, I'll select it to be the one that receives the operating system, right? The other the other drives are uh, the ones that are used to form my st storage system. And um, yeah, let's wait a while and speed that up. During the installation, the system will reboot uh, sometimes. Then for the uh, first logon, the admin password needs to be changed. And we are ready to perform our first steps, which would be set the correct data time zone. Then selecting the network adapters and updating these with the correct IP addresses. This time I set the DNS server that we require for the domain join. Enabling remote desktop is sometimes helpful as if you remote desktop into the machine, you can copy and paste uh, code uh, that's my, that might be useful in to speed things up a little bit. Last option in sconfig is the domain join. Typing in the details for the domain and also for the 
login account or for the for the domain join account to be used. If you want to have a different name for your computer to show up within your Active Directory, then feel free to do that in that in that uh, step as well. In the next video, we will use Windows Admin Center to install the cluster.